Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation and I'm really excited about this because it is only like $12. So, so awesome, right? This video is not sponsored. I'm doing this out of the love and support for all those college students out there that just graduated, like me, um, who don't have $50 to spend on their foundation. <laughs> but I found a really awesome alternative right now, and this is it right here. If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Liz, you should definitely subscribe. You can click here or you can go and subscribe and I think it's somewhere down there. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, especially now that I've graduated. Um, that's one of the reasons why I haven't been on YouTube for like, uh, what it's been, like four years. Um, yeah, I've been doing YouTube for a really long time, since 2011, so I've been doing YouTube for a really long time since the 10th grade and now I'm graduated. I've graduated college, I can't believe it, um, so that is one of the reasons why I haven't been around. Number two, I had an eye infection which totally stings because it's makeup and I couldn't wear makeup for about like two weeks. And then, unfortunately, um, my grandfather passed away uh, on June 12th. So me and my family just needed a lot of time to, you know, grieve and to help, you know, each other out. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. I'm almost at 400 subscribers, which is crazy to me, only because I've been on this channel for a really long time, and it's been at quite a standstill. I've been at about 300 subscribers, fluctuating up and down for about four years now. <laughs> Video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. If you want more reviews and everything like that, let me know in the comments down below. So here is my review on the L'Oreal Lumi Foundation and I hope you guys enjoy. So, first things first, I'm going to be using a primer. I used two primers. Is this necessary? Probably not. One is for pores and one isn't. One is to like help, you know, get that photo finish. It's a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So you prime your face before you apply your makeup and I really love this stuff so I always use it every single time I uh, put makeup on. And then I also have the Benefit Pore Professional Cream and I really love this stuff so much and I really think it gives my face a nice flawless complexion when I put it on which you know is goals. I am going to put the primer on this half of my face, mostly because I have a few zits on my face, which is not okay. This is going to be interesting. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to let this dry off for a few seconds because, <laughs> you know. And then next I'm going to take the uh, the Benefit Professional and I just get a about a penny size, a little bit less than penny size. It's a little glob and I just rub it all over my fingers and I just gently like buff it into my skin. So once I go back and I do all of my makeup you will see a little bit of a difference because as you can see I look like a vampire. <laughs> that looks like I haven't seen the light of day in about five years. So it says to shake the bottle, so which is kind of funny because uh, you always see that and like you never really pay attention to it. I, I never pay attention to it and I never shake the bottle, so I'm shaking the bottle. Mm -hmm. Shake it. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my favorite foundation brush. I literally got this from Target so long ago and I have no idea what brand it is, Target brand. <laughs> So this foundation says that it creates healthy skin, which I find very interesting because, you know, foundation is just foundation for the, for your face, you know, it's not, I don't think my foundation is supposed to do anything other than smooth out my skin. So this foundation says that it is lightweight but buildable, so that's pretty cool. I like lightweight foundations, I don't f like feeling like I have foundation on my skin because it feels like it's cakey, you know, and I just... I feel like I can't touch my face, even though you're not supposed to. I know. Fun. Um, so I like foundation that, um, you know, just kind of smoothly goes into the skin. And I don't like it when I, when it feels really cakey. I like it when my foundation just feels like I have a nice layer over it, but I still have full coverage. So um, we'll see how this goes. 
I feel like I did a very good job matching my skin when I spent like five minutes just staring at it. Uh, then some girl came over and I was like, which one is my skin? And then I was like, do I get this one? Do I get this one? I'm like trying to match it to my skin and everything. And then I got embarrassed. So of course I just like ran away. So I was like, <laughs> bye. Next I'm going to do the side with the primer. I also did one in like a little bit more, a little extra uh, pump. And then I like to just dab it on my face and then buff it into my skin. So when I'm putting this on, I feel like it is pretty blendable. I can see why they say it is buildable because I feel like if I just add a little bit more, like it will still give me, you know, enough coverage. Okay, so I can definitely see why it says that it gives you a glowy look. I feel like my skin looks very, um, very shiny and very glowy. I don't know how it looks on camera. Um, I guess I'll have to see. I can definitely say that I think that the side with the primer looks a little bit better. And that just might be me, but I think that it does. Right now I feel like it feels a little bit cakey, so I don't really like that, but I feel like it's giving me nice coverage and it's giving me a nice smooth finish. Um, the only thing is, is that I feel like I, I feel like I have foundation on my face, I don't feel like I don't have foundation on my face, and I don't know if that's because I haven't done my powder or anything yet, but that is kind of just how I feel right now. <laughs> So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup right now and then I will come back and tell you how it worked with all the other products that I use on my face like powders and um, concealers and things like that and then you can see for yourself. So this is what it looks like right now and I will show you guys in a minute uh, what it looks like with the rest of my makeup. Okay, so I just finished doing the rest of my makeup. I really think that the foundation did a really good job. I think, um, you know, blending and everything uh, pretty dang good. I think that this foundation is pretty good. I'm gonna go the rest of the day and see how it goes and I will come back to you with my final results. Overall I really love the Lumi foundation. I think it's great and I really love it and I think that I will definitely be purchasing this again. Um, I will see the rest of this week how it goes. Um, so far, you know, for the rest of this day, uh, so good. I really love it. Um, I think it's great, especially since it has SPF in it. So I feel like if I wanted to, you know, go for a walk with my friends or if I wanted to, you know, go to the beach but, like, just hang out and chill and I wanted some coverage, then this would be great to use, especially during summer. I think it's a great summer foundation. Huh. Bright light, there it is. Great some foundation. Okay, so don't forget to give me some video requests down below. If you want to see more summer videos, let me know as well. I'm going to try my best. I've been trying to look up different ways how to do videos and blah 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 and things like that. I really want to get this channel up and going. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, So this coverage says that it's lightweight, but it's buildable. Buildable. So this, first things first, I'm going to be using a... <laughs> wow. Alright. You know that was the foundation, right? That just fell.